Hey guys. Welcome guys, welcome. All right guys, make sure you, you guys have your supplies out. I'm gonna go over what supplies you need. Hey guys, hey Maddie, hey Elizabeth. All right. Okay, hi everybody. Hey Priya, hey Sanjana. Who missed me here? <laughs> All right, when, guys. Yeah, when like she said, I spied Elizabeth today. Mm -hmm. I that my sister. You thought it was your sister? My sister wasn't there at all, so like, Elizabeth's not even here. But right. I like, yeah. okay. it was so awkward. <laughs> it was awkward? It was, it was pretty awkward. That's funny. All right, I'm so at my camera. Okay, guys, today we're doing salt painting. I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a vote to make sure that everybody has their supplies. And I'm just adding that. Okay, great. Uh, question, guys. So for supplies for today, what you're going to need, you're going to need glue, a glue bottle. Oh, oh my mom gave me like a glue stick. No, you need a glue bottle. Okay. Glue bottle. Okay. okay. So look, if you if for some reason you don't have the supplies for today, you can just do a regular watercolor painting. But we need your glue. Hold on one second. You need your glue bottle. You need some salt. We're doing salt painting today, okay? You need maybe like a cup, uh, also for water for your watercolors. You need a brush. You need a pencil. You need pencil. You need your paper. You need any type of watercolor palette, this one or this one, okay? It doesn't matter what color. And then you need some brushes, okay? So grab a couple brush or grab two brushes. You don't really need many for this one because this one you're just dabbing. And you'll see what I mean when I say that, okay? So those of you guys who have done that, there you go, great Maya, perfect. So just grab, okay? Now with the salt, it's gonna get a little bit messy. If I'm gonna show you my, my uh, top view camera so you can, can see what I have. So look, for me, it gets a little bit messy with the salt. So what I usually do, I have like a little uh, container, a little tray. If you don't have that, as long as you're doing it on a table, that's fine. Uh, you know, just make sure that you clean up after yourself after so your parents don't have to do it for you. Okay, so we all help out each other. Okay, so just make sure you have everything. Go ahead, Maya. Go ahead. Is it okay if I go get my apron? Because I want to have that on just in case yeah, I get clean. Of course, of course. First. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. So I'm going to show you, make sure you have your, so again, you need your glue bottle, the glue bottle, not a glue stick, glue bottle. You need salt. Okay. You need any type of little cup for water. Okay. Some water or a bowl, whatever you have. And then you need your pencil, a pencil or two pencils, whatever you have. Brushes. Okay. You need your paper to draw. Okay, we're gonna end, we need our watercolor palette. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna show you some examples of what I did. I'm gonna spotlight my hand video and that's what we're gonna do for most of the class, okay? So look, here in this one right here, if you guys can see that. Make sure that you guys have me on speaker view so then that way you guys can see what I'm, um, hold on, I'm gonna, okay. So here I have, this is all made out of salt. So I'm gonna shake this up. You see this one is an easy uh, easy one. It's rainbow, so I just drew a rainbow. Then I, I traced all my pencil lines with glue and then I added the salt. When I added the salt, I let it sit, I let it sit for a little bit and then I added the watercolor paint. I'm gonna go step by step. So as you can see, like with this one here, the lines have to be separate so then that way the glue doesn't mix together. So this is a rainbow, okay? This one was an emoji that I did and it's basically like a circle, the That's heart, awesome. side. okay? Yeah, awesome. so, so you can do any anything that you like. So I'm gonna just give, yeah. I'm gonna show you some examples. Look, this one is a jellyfish with bubbles. So like an ocean effect, okay? This one is Darth Vader. This one's a little bit more complex, but it's actually really fun to do. Okay. Now, if you have anything that you guys might want to draw today uh, in glue form, you can go ahead and type it in the chat. 
I do have a couple things that we're going to do, but I always like taking suggestions. So are you supposed to draw using glue first? No, we're gonna draw with a pencil first and then trace it. It makes it easier for us. Uh, so we trace it with glue? Elizabeth, can we draw Cinderella? Cinderella is going to be a little bit hard uh, to do with glue, but I can do a face of Cinderella, yes. Okay? All right, so here's a butterfly. You see, for, the, for, for these type of salt drawings, it's very hard to try to get detailed, okay? So this one, even this one, this is Winnie the Pooh. This was a lot of detail because of his honey pot, so you can't really tell it's a honey pot, but you kind of get the idea, okay? Yeah. See, for this one, this one's a heart, and I tried to draw, write a word love in it. If you wanted to tr uh, test yours out with just doing your name first, you could do that, okay? This one is a lot more complicated. This is Wonder Woman. I was getting really ambitious That's with this good. one. So, you know, it's really harder to do, like, more realistic characters. That's why I only tend to do the face. You can't really do the body. This one's a pineapple. Okay, this one is Hello Kitty. Okay, so, okay, and this one was just Baymax. So, we're going to go ahead and get started. And we're going to draw on our paper first, and then I'll, I'll move all this stuff back in here, okay? So, I'm going to move my tray out of the way. I'm going to get my paper down, and we're going to start off. Let me see, is there any suggestions? Because we're going to start off with an easy one first, and then we're going to, um, and then I'll draw a few other ones. Let's see. Go ahead and Maya, go ahead and unmute yourself, honey. Go ahead. Um, honey. Can we draw one of the paint palettes? One of those paint palettes, not one of like these, but one of the things where it's like a circle, but it's like, like a moon shape, and then you can put paint on it, but there's a circle on it. Yeah. That's same. Yeah. Can you draw that? Yeah, like a sun and a moon? No, but one of those paint palette things where it's like a, you can hold it, mm -hmm. but there's like a paintbrush next to it, and like there's a circle that's plain that um, doesn't have anything on it that like got cut out or something, and there, and then you like put paint on it. Okay, I'm, I'm drawing this out. Let me see if, if I understand what you said. Hold on one second. This is like, I'm sketching this out. Hold on. I'm going to show you my hands. Just tell me, tell me, um, is that what you're thinking about? Like that? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, you could do that. No problem. Okay. Um, who else? Who else has any, any requests? Any, Kalia, do you have any special requests? Charlotte and Kaylee, do you guys have? Go ahead. Butterfly. A dragonfly, okay. A butterfly. Oh, butterfly, butterfly, no problem. We can do that. What else, uh, Mackie? Go ahead, Mackie. Um, I like the picture that you're yeah. drawing right now. Oh, uh, with the, with the palette, okay. What else, Elizabeth? Go ahead, Elizabeth. Go ahead, honey. The elephant. An elephant, okay. Anything else? Tessa and Tali, go ahead. Go ahead, Tessa and Tali. Kitty. Hello, Kitty. Okay. And Cleo and Margo? Um, can we do a unicorn? Butterfly. A unicorn, okay. Anybody else? Maddie, go ahead, honey. Go ahead, Maddie. Alcorn? A what? Alicorn. It's a unicorn with wings. Oh, got it. Okay. Anybody else? Uh, go ahead, Stephanie Slotnick. A fox. A fox? Okay. Charlotte and Kaylee, go ahead. A dog. A dog. A watermelon. A piece of watermelon. A watermelon. Oh, I love that. Watermelon. Okay. All right. So we're going to try to knock all these out. We're going to start. I'm going to start off with a few and we'll knock all these out. Okay. All right, here we go. So you can, I'm gonna draw, we're gonna draw with pencil first and then we're gonna do with, uh, we're gonna go ahead and go in with the glue, okay? So I'm gonna spotlight my hands here. All right, guys. So I'm gonna start off. So you're gonna use your whole sheet of paper. I have a lot of requests, don't worry, we'll get to them. All right, 
So we're gonna start drawing uh, a butterfly first. So if you guys wanna do a butterfly, you're gonna go ahead and do this. So watch what I'm gonna do. You're gonna go in the center of your paper and you're gonna do a big like shape like this, kind of like almost like, it doesn't look like an oval, but just like that, okay? For your butterfly. We're gonna keep these simple shapes. We don't want too much detail with these because remember we're adding salt, okay? All right, once you have that, and I'm gonna move on, I'm gonna move on rather uh, quickly with different things, okay? And then you're gonna do a big curve that goes like this for your butterfly, like that, like a big letter C. And then you have to do the same thing for the other side. So once you have the center of the body, then you have its wing that goes this way, you're gonna do the wing that goes the opposite way, like this, okay? And it doesn't matter how, like, they're gonna, sometimes they're gonna be the same, sometimes they're not, and it's okay, okay? All right. Next, you're gonna add the other bottom part of the wing that goes like this. It's the same shape. It's kind of like a backwards letter C or like a U. If you turn your paper, it's like a U. Same thing with this one too. So you're gonna do the same thing here. It's like a U that just connects there, okay? Now it's up to you because we do the salt painting, you can go ahead and add an antenna if you want, but you're gonna keep it rather simple because when you start to put glue, you're gonna understand what I mean, okay? Now here, you can add maybe a couple circles. I wouldn't add too many because the glue tends to smear, okay? So maybe just add a few circles. You don't have to do that many, okay? That's it, keep it simple. The bottom part, you can do lines if you want to. One, two, three. I would keep it very simple. With salt painting, less is more, okay? And that's it, that's the butterfly, okay? I'm gonna move on to the next thing. I'm gonna move on to a dog, okay? All right, here. So that's, that's this, okay? That's the butterfly. Let me see who, who was doing a butterfly? Who was doing a butterfly? Okay, if you did the butterfly, this is what you're gonna do, because I'm gonna move on to a, do uh, uh, a dog next. I'm gonna show you what you're gonna do, because then you can do this while I draw out the others. Watch. When you finish drawing your, your drawing or whatever drawing you're going to do, you're going to take your glue bottle and you're gonna open it up like this, look. Okay, if your parents are with you, guiding you, great. You're gonna open up this so the glue comes out. You need to squeeze really hard with two hands and you're gonna do this slowly, okay? So look, all you're doing right now is you're tracing your, glue, your pencil lines. You're tracing it. That's all you're doing. So you're gonna do this for a minute until you're all done, okay? So trace it all like this just like this those of you guys that put in requests don't worry i'm gonna do those next i'm just gonna show you the steps so you guys can do this once i start doing the rest of the request okay so look you're just gonna go everywhere make sure that there's glue everywhere you see sometimes the glue tends to run out a little bit but you gotta make sure that you fill up that space because you'll see why in a second just look right now so you can see the steps and then I'm going to show you what you're going to do after this, okay? So this is just a quick tutorial, real quick, and then we're going to move on to draw more things because we're going to draw as many as we can today. So look, I finish tracing all my lines, okay? The next step when we finish drawing this, watch what I'm going to do. I'm getting my piece of paper. I'm going to put it in a tray because I have one. And I'm gonna put my piece in here. Now, because this is salt, watch. Because this is salt, the glue and the salt need to stick together. So the salt, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pour it in a cup. You don't need to. You can just pour it straight, whatever container your parents give you. You can pour it straight from this bottle if you want to. But what I'm gonna do, watch what I'm doing. I'm gonna cover, if you guys have ever used glitter before, I'm gonna cover every area that has glue with salt. 
Now, for example, if I run out of salt here in my cup, this is another trick you can do. Watch. So look, I just got part of it. You can pour more salt in your cup and then continue. Or what you can do is look, you can grab your piece of paper like this and gently, look, gently tilt it to every area, just like back and forth, just a little bit slowly. So then that way the top and the bottom, do you see this? The top and the bottom is covered in glue. Now, when you see that everything is covered in glue, you're going to just shake it down a little bit. You're gonna create a little bit of pile of a mess of, of sand, um, not sand, of salt on your table, but that's okay. What you're gonna do is then you're gonna just scoop it up. You see this one I'm gonna lay right here. You're gonna scoop, get another little piece of paper, scoop it up as much as you can and just take it off your table. And then what you can do, I like to save my salt so I can do another drawing and I'm just gonna funnel it back into a cup like that, okay? And then I can do another one, okay? For now, this one is gonna sit to just dry for five minutes before I add my, my watercolor. So I would do at least two drawings because once you do this one, what you're gonna do, once you have that, I'm gonna show you real quick because we're gonna draw the other ones, so watch. In another cup, you should have another cup with water should have another cup with water. And once you have all of this glued, you're gonna just grab your watercolor palette and you're gonna add color. But this is how you do it. You get your cup, you dip your brush, you get water and you dip it in a color like this. You got a lot of color. You dip it again in your water cup. You're not pressing really hard down. All you're doing is you're tapping it. Look, you're adding more water to your brush and you're just tapping it. And the paint will spread itself. You're just tapping lightly. But you need to make sure that there's enough water, there's enough water in your brush. And you're just tapping it, adding a little bit more color and tapping it. That's it, okay? So right now, I'm not gonna finish painting this because I need this to dry. That's why I do a couple images at a time because I want that one to dry, okay? So next one that I'm gonna do right now, if you guys wanna do the puppy, we're gonna do the puppy next, okay? We're gonna keep it simple, okay? All right, did you guys all understand the steps? Do you guys all understand the steps? Yes, okay. So we're gonna go step by step. Yes, Kalia, you understand? Great, do you guys have questions? If anybody has questions, let me know. I know I ran that through just so you could see it, but we're gonna go step by step for everything else. All right, guys, I'm gonna do a puppy. I'm gonna do my paper uh, portrait this time. So then that way I have more space. So the puppy is gonna be, again, an easy shape. I'm gonna do a square for the face. So watch, a square for the face. You can do a square for the face like this. Square for the face. You're gonna do a little oval for the nose. Just like that. A little oval for the nose. Remember, anything that you do with salt painting, you wanna make sure that there's not so much detail in it, okay? Then you're gonna do a big circle here and a big circle there. Because you wanna make sure that you can uh, color it in with the glue. That's the most important part. And then you're gonna do a little line right there for the face. Now, if you want to give it little dots, you can, but make sure that you put enough glue when you do the dots, okay? Because if you don't put enough glue when we trace this, it's going to be hard to uh, put salt on it, okay? And then your ear, just little ears that go like this, you do a curve here and a curve like that. And then you can do another ear just curving down like this, okay? Pretty simple shape. Okay? Now, with its with its body it's a simple shape okay you're gonna just go down like this and curve up and then curve down like this and curve up and then kind of like a mountain like this almost like a like a game controller and then we're gonna do its tail that just goes up like this 
You can do two lines for like the paws right here. And maybe you can give it some type of pattern for its body like this, like a circle or like a curve. And that's it. We're not going to add any more detail to this one because again, you want to make sure that your, your images are simple. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. Hold on one second. Let me see. Okay. Next thing we're going to do, uh, we're going to do Hello Kitty. Okay. So here's your dog. Next is Hello Kitty. Okay. Go ahead and finish that one. We're gonna do Hello Kitty next and then I'm gonna move on. Okay. Whoever was drawing a dog, are you good to go with the dog? Thumbs up if you're good, not yet? Okay. So remember for the dog, it's just a square for the face, it's ears, it's little nose. No worries, okay. Let's see, what were the other ones? So we did butterfly already. We did uh, the dog. I'm gonna do, a, actually we'll do a watermelon after. What about a pirate ship maybe? The pirate ship is kind of hard to do, especially because of all the detail. So mm -hmm. remember, you wanna pick something that's simple. The shape for, uh, you can do try to do a pirate ship, but it's, it's gonna take more time to do. So uh, right a pirate then maybe? Let me see. I'll do that one last, Daniel, okay? Okay. okay. I'm going to get some more paper. All right. I'm going to do a watermelon. Somebody requested a watermelon. Mm -hmm. Mac, 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 Mac. I just want to do a rainbow. I mean. You could do a rainbow, too. Who, um, who else has uh, finished the puppy? I'm going to move on to the watermelon slice. Okay. Great. Puppy's gone. I'm going to trace... I'm gonna trace the puppy with glue right now. So you're gonna go ahead and do that. Watermelon slice is next. Then I'm gonna do Hello Kitty. Watermelon slice, really easy to do. You do a happy face, a smile that goes up like this, a smile like that, okay? It's basically an arch, a smiley face, okay? Then once you do the smiley face on the two tips of the corners, remember if it's a slice of watermelon, you have to have like a pointy, like a pointy, almost like a triangle on the top. So you can do like a triangle on the top like that. And then you're gonna just open it up down like this, like this, like that. Oh, actually, hold on, wait. Hold on one second. Let me, let me do this. Uh, watermelon slice. Actually, we can do a different watermelon. Watermelon slice, cute. We can do it this way. Actually, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, let's not do, sorry. Let's uh, change this up. If you have a pencil, you can erase this. I'm gonna flip my paper. I was doing an orange slice, that's not right. Okay, so watermelon slice, you go straight line across. Sorry about that. Straight line across for a watermelon slice and then a happy face on the bottom like this, okay? And we can do a caricaturized watermelon slice or not. So once you have that, it kind of looks like a boat. Yeah. You're gonna add a line underneath. Like, oh, that would okay. Now, if you want to caricaturize a watermelon slice, you can add some eyes like this. You can add some eyes if you want. You can add a little circle inside and you can add a little happy face and a tongue that looks like a U. But a watermelon has what on it? It has little black seeds, right? So, but we, because if we do salt painting, your, your seeds need to look a little bigger. So you need to add like little ovals. Just do a few of them. Don't do too many. Just do a few, cause then you're gonna have to use glue everywhere. Okay, so just do a couple. And that's your watermelon slice. Okay, and then once you start, you have to glue, you have to put glue everywhere. The watermelon slices, right, I mean the actual seeds itself, you're going to have to fill in each seed with glue. So you're not just outlining the seeds, you're actually filling it in, okay, for the watermelon. Okay, next. 
we're gonna move on to where's my list okay next one uh hello kitty hello kitty and then we'll do a unicorn 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 cute okay who was doing the watermelon slice are you done with the watermelon slice thumbs up if you're done with your watermelon I'm still slice. Doing it. okay we're gonna do a cute little watermelon I mean, a, a cute uh, unicorn, but we're gonna do a, this one now. Okay, Hello Kitty is next. Who is doing the watermelon? Uh, raise your hand so I can see. Okay, did you guys finish your watermelon? Yes? Okay. So now with your watermelon, you can either, if you're doing the salt painting, you're gonna trace it with the glue or you're going to go ahead and uh, you're gonna trace it with the glue or you're going to just paint it with watercolor. It's up to you. If you guys have done salt painting before and you do not want to use salt, no problem. Just do a regular watercolor painting of the watermelon. I'm gonna just do a salt painting. I'm gonna just trace this real quick and do the next one. Next one is gonna be Hello Kitty. I'm gonna add, again, with my seeds, I'm gonna make sure that I have glue inside the seeds so then that way I can color those in black and make this a little bit more okay I'm just gonna trace this real quick I'm gonna let this dry what I like doing is when I draw one I like drawing a few so then that way I have a few to do because it takes about five minutes for the glue to dry before we add our um, before we add our, our paint to it so I'm just gonna do that I can, Hello Kitty's next. Here we go. All right, so this one's going to sit to dry. Actually, I need to add the salt. There we go. There we go. I'm going to do this technique real quick. Whoops. I need my tray because I'm getting salt all over. All right. So this one's going to dry with the butterfly right now. And I'm going to move on to the next one. Okay. I'm going to let that dry. And then I can paint that one. Okay. Next, I have Hello Kitty. How many of you guys are doing Hello Kitty? Raise your hand. Okay. Great. If you're doing Hello Kitty, this is what you're going to do. You're gonna go ahead and start your port, your your paper portrait. I mean, uh, landscape, please. That's the long way this way. You're gonna do an arch that goes like this, okay? An arch that looks like that. Now, Hello Kitty's a cat, so she needs big ears. So you're gonna do like a triangle that goes like this, but not a really, really pointy uh, ear. It's more like a curved ear, okay? She has a big bow. So you're gonna do the bow on the right-hand side. You're gonna do an oval here first. And make sure that your image is pretty big because when you do, again, when you do it with the salt, it's hard to, uh, and the glue, it's, it takes a little time. And you're gonna do the bow that goes out like this, okay? A bow that goes out like this. And you can change out the bow however you like as well. And then the bow on the other side that goes like this, okay? Go ahead and do that. How are you doing, ladies and gentlemen? Good? Okay. Now you need to do the ear behind this one, behind the bow right here. And then you just curve her face. So her face is kind of oval or round. So you're gonna go underneath here and you're just gonna curve her face, kind of like the letter C and curve it, curve it, curve it until almost the edge of your paper like that, okay? Just like the edge of your paper. How are you doing, Mackie? You okay? Um, I'm outside and I, my mom said we're only doing two. We did the puppy and the butterfly. Okay, have you started painting yet? Not yet, are you letting it dry? Yeah. Okay, good, okay. So you mm -hmm. can watch and then we're gonna, we're gonna start painting, okay? Okay. In like five minutes. All right, so look, once you have your Hello Kitty here, you're gonna do an oval for the nose like this. 
that goes this way. And then its eyes are also oval. So it's, you have an oval eye here and an oval eye here, okay? And Hello Kitty doesn't have a mouth. Did you guys know that? <laughs> so she has whiskers. So she has three whiskers. One, two, three. So you're doing three lines going out this way. And then you're doing three lines going out this way. One, two, three. That's it. Once, you drew, once you've drawn Hello Kitty, you can go ahead and start adding the glue everywhere. But you need something for her bow here. You can do a line here, like a U here, a U here, just to give it a little bit more dimension. But Hello Kitty is now done, okay? So if you wanna do Hello Kitty, you can. <coughs> Again, you don't need to do all these drawings that I'm doing. I, since I took requests, I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw all of these for you guys, okay? All right. So you just have her ear. I'm gonna go over the steps with Hello Kitty. You do the arch for the head, the little triangle ear on this side, then you're gonna curve its face just oval, okay? It has an oval nose that goes like this in the center, and then two oval eyes, one right here and one to the right, okay? It has its whiskers on the left-hand side, one, two, three lines, and then on the other side, one, two, three lines. And you do its bow, oval in the top, and two curves here, and its little ear there, okay? And she's simple, okay? Now you can go ahead and glue this one as well. So you can either paint it with glue or you can uh, go ahead and just paint it straight with watercolor, okay? All right, what was the next one that you guys requested? I'm gonna leave that one there while I find my list real quick. All right, unicorn, we did this one, we did that one. We're doing good, we did unicorn, we did Hello Kitty, and now we're gonna do unicorn. Can now. you show me the unicorn picture just so I can see it, cause. Yeah. This one. Is that okay? Like the, draw, like the drawing. Oh, I'm gonna draw it right now. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Okay. Sorry, what? I just tried late. No problem. Whoever wants to do a unicorn, unicorn's next. Here we go. So unicorn, okay? We're gonna go ahead and do a unicorn if you wanna do a unicorn. So you're gonna do a big U for the face, a big U for the face, just a big U, okay? We're gonna try to simplify this one a little bit so it's not so, so detailed. We're gonna curve its body like this and curve its body like this, it's sitting. Just like that. It kinda looks like a face and a neck, right? Kinda looks like a face and a neck. Then we're gonna do four lines. So it's sitting down. So one line here, one line here. Actually, it'll just be three lines because they connect together. One, two, three. These are its feet and you curve this line right here. And then you kind of do like a rectangle. It's almost like a rectangle here for the hooves, like that, okay? So it looks an arch here, an arch here. And then you do two circles, two circles that have its feet going this way. So one circle here on the left and one circle here to the right, okay? So do the one, two, three lines. You're gonna do the rectangle right here on the bottom, two circles on the sides, just like that. And then you're just gonna curve the legs in like this, and that's its, that's its body right there. We're gonna do its ears and its face in a second, okay? So go, let me know when you're ready with that. Give me a thumbs up once you're ready with that, okay? And then I think we're almost there. Who requested the elephant? Who requested the elephant? Okay, Elizabeth, you requested the elephant? Okay. Let me know when you're ready with the unicorn. Thumbs up so I can move on to the face. Thumbs up? Okay. So with the unicorn, what we're going to do, where's my unicorn? Here we go. So with the unicorn, all you're gonna do, you're gonna do a big circle for the eye. One, two, you're gonna do its little uh, nose that just like, two little dots like that. In the eyes, you can do another little circle in the eye to make it cute if you want. 
And then you need to do its hair and its unicorn horn. So its unicorn hair looks like this, kind of almost like you're doing like a backwards letter C and you're just doing some curves like this. And it becomes almost kind of like triangles, but like stylized, okay? Like bangs. Just like that. Do a curve, and then you're doing just like stylized triangles that go like that. And you can add the hair however you like. It doesn't have to look like my hair. Let me color that in. Well, this is going to be in blue. And then you need to do the ears. The ears curve like this. And then what's the most important thing about a unicorn? What's the most important thing about a unicorn? So we're gonna do the ears that go up like this and then down, like almost kind of like a letter C again. This one has a diagonal line going this way. And then this is like a curve, like a backwards letter C. And the most important thing on a unicorn is the horn. So the horn is basically a triangle. It's a long triangle, right? This is all you have for your, for your unicorn. And then we need to do the unicorn horn on the top. So the unicorn horn, you just do a triangle, kind of like a party hat, a triangle like this, like a party hat. And then you do the curves to create the horn. So because if this is salt painting, you're not gonna do too many curves. So you're just gonna curve it like this, okay? And that's its horn, and that's it. If you want to do a little a smiley face, you can, but it's not necessary, it's just like this. If you wanna do like a little smiley face like that, you can, but that's really up to you. If you wanna add the tail, I'm not gonna do the smiley face, I don't like it. If you wanna do a tail, you could do a tail that just goes out like this, and just like that. Because remember, you're just gonna keep it simple, okay? And then you're gonna do a little line here for the ear to keep it simple, and that's it. That's your unicorn, okay? And when you color the hair in, you could do it multiple rainbow colors, okay? I'm gonna glue this one so I can show you when we paint this, how this is gonna look, okay? I'm gonna go back to my other paintings that have been drying, and I'm gonna go slowly step-by-step step with color. So right now I'm just gonna glue this one. So what I'm doing, I'm just tracing. Again, when you do salt paint, all you have to do is you're tracing. You're tracing your drawing. And again, your drawing should be like easy, simple lines that make it easy for you to put your glue on there. And I have to use two hands because I wanna make sure that there's enough glue here on my piece. And this, you take your time, okay? Salt painting takes a while to do, and especially the painting part, because you don't really wanna rush through your stuff. And again, I'm just, since I'm taking requests, I'm just going a little faster with this, so then that way you guys can all get yours, uh, your request in, okay? With the eyes here, I'm gonna color the eyes in with the glue, so then that way I can, uh, color them in black when uh, it dries. I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna go step by step with the coloring right now. And I'm gonna do this line right there, this line right here. And then I have to add my salt. Ah, I have to add my salt here. I think I'm running out of salt. Okay, I'm gonna get my tray. Right out here again. This one's dry. The watermelon looks like it's dry. My unicorn will be dry in a moment. I'm gonna shake that up. Shake that up. I missed a little bit of my salt here for my drawing, so I'm gonna scoop this up a little bit. Fill that gap in. So I'm just kind of shaking that. If you have a lot of salt, then you don't need to do this method, but I'm running out of salt, so. I'm just kind of mixing it up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna let this one dry and then I'll move on. Okay, so who else was I missing for, an, for a request? Did everybody draw something so far? Yes? Maya, what was your request, honey? The um, one that you drawed for me because we didn't know the, the name. Oh yeah, 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 the, pa the paint palette, sweetheart? Yeah. Okay, no problem. 
Do you need me to draw that? Here. Okay. So Maya, here we go. The paint palette. What you're gonna do, look. You got a paper? Okay, so you look. You're gonna do an arch that goes like this, look. Just like that, kind of like a backwards letter C, honey, okay? Just like that. And then you're going to go ahead and curve it on the top right here, like this. And you're gonna kind of do like a U in the, in the center. And then curve it like this, okay? So you're curving like that, okay? Let me know when you have that, and then I'm gonna start doing the the paint, the paint uh, circles. Do you have that, Maya? No, okay. Let me know. I'm gonna start painting the the watermelon in a second, okay? Because while I'm waiting for the other ones to dry. Okay, so Maya, all we're gonna do, you're gonna decide how many paint uh, you want. So I'm gonna do one. Two, I'm gonna spread it out. Three, I'm gonna just do circles, okay? So I'm gonna just do five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna do five circles to give me enough space. And now if I wanna do a paintbrush, a paintbrush I can add to the side here or I can add to the bottom. So with the paintbrush is just basically, you can do like a rectangle that goes up, like a line here and a line here, just like that. Okay, let me know when you're when you're there. How are you guys doing over there? Renee, Jack, how are you guys doing over there? How's the salt painting working out for you? Good? Go ahead. Um we're not using salt, we're just painting. Oh, okay. All right, no problem. Stephanie, how's yours going? How's yours looking? Good. Did it get a little messy over there with the salt? Kind of. Kind of? Kind of? But it's kind of cool. Ooh, that dog looks amazing. Awesome. Okay, great. Awesome. Kalia, how are you doing over there, honey? Good? <laughs> okay. All right, Maya, are you good to move yeah. on to the next step? Whoa, 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 whoa. Kalia, yeah. that was great. Okay, then we're gonna add some paint. I'm gonna move on to the Did paint. You guys okay. do pirate ship. We need to let this dry for a moment. Did you guys do a yeah. pirate? Yes, we'll do a pirate. Don't worry. Don't worry, Daniel. I will. All right. So Maya, do you see when your breath with your brush here? You're gonna go ahead and do like a curve like this, kind of like a flame, like that. Okay. Just up. And then you can do, like, if you want to create, like, the lines of the bristle, you can just do a line like this that creates, like, the paint, okay? Just like that. And then you're done. You're done with that, okay? All right? Okay. Uh, Daniel, for you, pirate. Yes, Maya, go ahead, sweetheart. This is what mine looks like. You? That looks so good, Maya. Great job, honey. Now you can go ahead a circle there for yep. like the space that wasn't that doesn't have the paint on it. Maya cat oh, salt painting looks so bad. And then Maya, what you can do is make sure that if you're doing salt painting with this one, make sure that you color in the circle so then that way you can actually dye it. Okay. All right. So let me see, Daniel. I'm gonna do a quick uh pirate ship pirate. Maya cat salt thing looks so bad. Okay. It'll look fine. Hold on. I'm going to, I'm going to show you how. Hold on. Pirates. Hold on one second. Do you want a pirate ship, Daniel? Uh, what's easier for you? Yeah, that's easier. Here, so look. So what I'm going to do, it's kind of like what we did with the watermelon right now. So you're yeah. going to create a line that goes like this, like a happy face like that. And then a curve, but it's gonna be like the boat, right? Like this? Yeah. Okay. Then we need the sail. So we need a line. Once you create that, it looks like a smiley face, right? Kind of like the Cheshire cat's mouth. Yeah. Then you go up a line like this, because we're gonna do the sail and kind of like a rectangle, right? Like a thin rectangle. Mm -hmm. Then you're gonna do the sail. So the sail goes like this one, a curved line like that. And then it curves out like this, 
like that, okay? So that's the sail of the boat. And then we have another line that goes out this way, like this, like a rectangle. And that's another sail that goes out. Give my uh, cat salt cleaner if you wanna see it. Yeah, I will. Look, so let's do the boat and then we're gonna continue. Oh, that looks good, Daniel. It looks like it's bleeding. Yeah, because it's not, it's still drying. So don't lift it up, <laughs> let it dry. No, sometimes, when you add, sometimes when you add too much water and you can add a body. So then that way, like if you wanted to add the body or the collar, okay? A body? Yeah, if you want to. So we're uh, having a murder crime scene here now? Yeah. All right, Daniel, we're moving on to your boat here so I can move on to the painting for everybody. Okay. Ready? Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're finishing the, sh uh, the sail here. So we're going to do a line right here. And then we're going to curve this sail right here, okay? Now on the top of the boat, you have a flag that we can do. So it's a triangle that curves out like this for, a for, for the sail, like that, a triangle. Yeah. And then the boat, you can create detail by adding just a few lines like this. And you can add a wave like this for water, okay? And you can add any type, any type of uh, image in the center that to create like a skull. And let me see if I can find something simple, like the crossbone. Do you see here? But it needs to be big enough because if you're going to do this with saw painting, look, you're going to do like the head, like this. And then you're going to do the crossbones that go like this, like that. One crossbone there and then one crossbone here. Kind of like what we did with the other class with the feet of the dog, the crossbones there, and then you just do the skull, the eye, and then you could do lines for the, just like that, okay? Daniel? Yeah. You got that? You can add a sun there if you want to, and then you're just gonna outline that with salt. I'm gonna start yeah. moving along. I'm gonna start moving. really, really good. Okay, so yours will look really good too. Okay. Yeah, as good as yours, but yeah, yes, it will. Just practice, honey. Okay, I'm gonna leave this over here to the side. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my palette. So, guys, now that I now that I uh, have had some time to let this dry, I'm gonna move on to paint my butterfly. Now, with my butterfly, I'm gonna get my palette here of paper of uh, paint. I do not need to use the same color for the whole butterfly. But that's the good thing about the salt painting and the watercolors is that I can use, watch what I'm gonna do. I can change it up. I'm gonna really add a lot of water to my brush. That's a trick. You need to make sure that you add enough water. I'm adding not enough too water. much water, right? Not, I mean, it's okay with the salt because it absorbs it. So look, I'm dipping my brush here and then I'm dipping my brush again in the water and then it's just, look, look how, it's, how it just spreads on the salt. I'm not even painting over the salt. I'm just literally like, just the tip of the brush is hitting with the water. But just the trick is that you have to make sure that you have enough water on your brush, okay? So dip your cup, uh, dip your brush in the cup of water, and then any areas that you want blues, you can go ahead and do each color at a time. You see what I mean? So look, I'm doing blues. I'm gonna just do blues here. I'm gonna decide to do blues here randomly. Do you see what I'm doing? I'm just doing blues here. I like working a color at a time yeah. so that, that way I don't have to mix my colors all the time. And I'm just gonna do blue here. Maybe that's enough blue for me. Maybe I'll add some more other colors. I'll just add a little bit more blue. But every time I'm dipping my brush in water, so that every every dip I'm dipping it in water so then that way it's easier for me to, um, to spread it. Another good way, if you don't want to use a brush, if you guys have an eyedropper, you can use an eyedropper in, uh, and if you're using what, um, food coloring, do I have food coloring? Oh yeah. Let me show you. You don't need this today, but I'm going to show you. Look, if you have food coloring, if, if you, if for some reason you run out of watercolor, you can also use food coloring. You can take a little bit of food coloring, you don't need to do this today. This is not for today, but I'm just showing you an example. If you ever run out of food of watercolor, you can take some food coloring. You can put a, a dot or two, like two drops, look, two drops or whatever in a cup. 
in a cup like that, you get a little bit of water, look what's gonna happen. The food dye, when we add water, it creates a, a watercolor. So if you ever run out of watercolors and you have food coloring, you just do that and look, I'm just adding red and then I'm just adding it in there and then it creates my red for me, okay? So that's another technique or another like artist hack you can do if you run out of watercolor or color. So I'm just gonna continue painting out of my paint palette here and I'm just gonna add more reds. I'm gonna add, make sure that I have enough water on my brush, enough paint on my brush and I'm just gonna add the more that you saturate your brush here, you see in the paint palette, the brighter your red is gonna be, right? I'm gonna add some purples because I need more colors here. Let me add some purples. I'm gonna add some purples here. Add some more water. I'm gonna add some yellows, make this a little bit brighter. And especially like those of you guys who did the watermelon, you can, it doesn't have to just be a regular watermelon color. It could be different, a rainbow watermelon. So I'm gonna add some purples here, purple there. This really takes a while to do because if you're really taking your time, do you see how it's taking me a while to do? So with art, you we take our time. But with the drawing part, like we're able to accomplish a lot by sketching out something simple and then, you know, doing the rest. I'm gonna add some, I think I'm done. Maybe I'll add a little bit of purple here and just change it up. You can add purple here. Everything doesn't have to stay the same. Add a little bit of blue. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna clean my brush now. I'm gonna add some yellow. I really want yellow here to pop. Let me see if it turns green. So you wanna make sure you wash your brush if you're doing darker color first and then you're going into a lighter color. Make sure you wash your brush a little bit. Okay. Now all you're doing is just dabbing the top. You're not, you know, going really in there with your brush to like when you regularly paint. Because if your uh, salt is not completely dry, it's going to pick it up on the brush. I don't know if you guys have noticed that yet. Let's see. How's everyone's coming out, guys? Is this easy to do or is it a little difficult to do? Who wants to share? Who wants to share? Anybody? Huh? Kalia, go ahead, honey. It's fun. It's My fun. mama and daddy and me never done this before. Oh, awesome. So is this something new? Did you like it? Yeah. Awesome. Daddy, come here and check. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah, I mean, this will take uh, you know, you could sit here for hours doing this and it's very calming and relaxing also. It's like therapeutic. I'm gonna add some orange to my butterfly here. Let me see. Let me add a little bit more orange here. Get my palette going. Add some more orange. Add some more water. Water is key with watercolors, guys. Water is key. All right, there we go. I'm gonna finish this one up and I'm gonna move on to the next one to paint the next one. And then I'm gonna let this dry. If you have some, if you have like a, a windowsill or if you have a backyard that you can set it out to dry, I would put it outside to dry or you can dry it in the house, it's fine. It'll dry eventually, give it a 24 hours and then you can, uh, parents, you can spray this with a spray paint and let it set that way, okay? So my butterfly is done, guys, my butterfly is done. The next one that I'm gonna do, I think I wanna do the watermelon. I really like that watermelon suggestion, guys. That was cool. Who did the watermelon here? Raise your hand. Maya, you did the watermelon too? Awesome. All right, I think I wanna do the watermelon and then I'm gonna do the unicorn. All right, here's the watermelon. Go ahead, Maya. I made mine a slice of watermelon. I think mine's still drying, but I made mine a slice of watermelon, but on a popsicle stick. Oh, that's great. Oh, it's like that's a cool. popsicle, but watermelon. Awesome. See, that's the thing. Like, you guys are very creative. You guys are amazing artists. Like, you guys will figure it out. Like, if you don't like, remember, yeah. we take everybody's art and we, if we can, um, we're inspired by it, right? We don't have to necessarily just do it exactly the way that we're taught, correct? Yeah. Like, we're our own individual artists. We have our own creative freedom. So 
this is our, this is my watermelon. So with the watermelon, I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do its eyes, maybe black. I'm going to get my watercolor palette here. I'm going to really put in some black here and I'm going to dip in here and really, I did the eyes solid. So then that way I could really have the eyes pop and I'm going to add some water because I need more water here because I'm running out of water and then let this spread a little bit. There we go. That's better. And then the watermelon seeds, I can add black or I can change them and make a multicolor. I don't have to keep them black if I don't want to. Just experiment with it, right? Daniel, how are you doing over there? I am good. You're good? I'm a man. I got, I got art muscles. I can draw. Okay. Tessa and Tali, how are you ladies doing over there? I did a cat. Good? Okay, great. I did like a blue, black, red cat. Okay, awesome. Charlotte the mouth, black outline, blue eyes. Nice. Charlotte and Kaylee, how are you guys doing over there? Good? Lovely. I love it. Great job, ladies. Awesome. Love it. Let me spotlight you. Great. Hold on. Let me spotlight you. Looks good, guys. All right. Awesome. All right. I'm going to continue. I'm going to continue painting my little... Uh, my little uh, watermelon here. I'm gonna give it a red tongue because it's gonna be caricaturized. And you can see like if you for, like if for some reason you miss some areas, like I miss this little area over here with the tongue with some glue, you can see that it kind of lifts up, but it's okay. We do the best. Every everyone, if you run out of uh, salt like I did. You just fill it in. And the great thing about this, when your whole image dries, guys, you can also paint the background with watercolors. Like once it all dries, you can just paint it in and fill it in. So for example, like the watermelon here, it would be pink, right, in the inside. So once everything dries, I'll probably just color it in pink so I can see the, all of it. I think I might do that. I'm gonna do the seeds. Maybe I'll do the seeds black. And then I'll do the outside, or maybe I'll do rainbow seeds. Let me do that. I'll do rainbow seeds. Purple, purple seeds here. I'm gonna do a blue seed here. I'm gonna do a purple seed here. I'm gonna do a blue seed here. I'm gonna raise your hand symbol. Huh? Go ahead. Yes, Cleo Margo. Hey. Um, I wanted to show you my butterfly. Yes, please share. And oh, I, that's so beautiful. I want to show mine too. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, guys. I love it. You guys are so talented. I love it. I love it. Thank you for sharing, guys. Anybody else want to share? Anybody else want to share your creations? We're all in it. I think we're all like focused right now. And see the thing with salt painting, you can do as many as you like and just sit there. Okay. I'm going to add my watermelon here. I'm going to add color to my watermelon. Taking a while. Dab it. You don't, you just dab it. Just dabbing. Yeah, we're just dabbing our brush. We're not going back and forth with our brush. We're literally just tapping the top. That's it. Like, boom, just tapping it. Like, just a little bit. But make sure you have enough water, okay? Hold on, I think my phone, my phone, there we go. It's literally just dabbing it, okay? So just the top, just tip, look, get enough water in your brush and dab, just the top, okay? Just keep on going. It'll spread. If you have enough water, you'll see that it spreads, right? It spreads right through the salt. It just spreads. Do you guys see that? Once you have enough water on your brush, it'll just spread itself. You don't have to do any other work other than just put it on the top and make sure you have enough water in your brush. Okay. I should probably add red to this right here. Because that was the, the skin or the... And again, I don't need to just do all this red. I can change it into different colors. But I think I'm going to just keep this one red. Then maybe I'll do the unicorn rainbow colors. 
okay? And again, like I said, like once this all dries here, you see my background here? I can paint this, once this all dries, I can paint this pink, so then that way I can actually see the, the tone of the watermelon. But I need to let this dry, because or else I'm gonna get salt all over my, my brush. But do you see what I'm doing? I'm just adding some pink in there, or red, that lighter pink. And remember, if you want a darker color, you just add more paint to your brush or more watercolor to your brush. So my, my watermelon is looking good. Thank you for the suggestion. Whoever requested watermelon, thank you. I'm gonna add some more paint here, some more water, always putting water on my brush. So then that way it's, it spreads out evenly and it's just faster to spread. You can do this with the eyedropper again, like I said. Look at this, it's looking good. Okay, do you guys have any suggestions of what you guys want to do? Do you guys have any requests, special requests for Friday's watercolor? If not, I have my own stuff that I will do. Any special requests? I love taking requests from you guys because again- A shark? A what? A shark. Ooh, a shark. Yes, I could totally do That'd a shark. That'd be really fun. I love sharks. Okay. Consider it done. We'll draw a shark on Friday as well. Any Anybody else have a special request that they want to do? Like something that you've been wanting to draw. Charlotte and Kay, uh, Kaylee, go ahead, honey. A narwhal. Um, a narwhal. Okay. A narwhal. Narwhal. Let me write these down. Hold a, on one second. A pineapple. A pineapple? Okay. Yeah. And a narwhal. Yeah, narwhal is also known as the unicorns of the sea. Yes, a narwhal, a shark. Anybody else have a special request? Anybody else? Go ahead. Go ahead. My name is John. Go ahead. Um, can I show you? No, no. What do you want to paint on Friday? Is I want to paint mermaid. A mermaid. Okay, no problem. We could do that. Keep it ocean themed. Renee and John, go ahead. Go ahead. Draw a moon. A what? A moon. A moon? No problem. We could do that. Okay. I'll pick some simple stuff so then that way we could do a couple things, kind of like what we did today, and then we could draw on our own. Um, usually, like in my classes, especially when we do cartooning, we, can, we do up to six or seven characters in the hour because we try to keep them on the simpler side. If we do more complex ones, we only do two. But, so look, this is my, this is my watermelon, guys. If I wanted to add the, in, the center, do you see what I just did? If I wanted to color the inside, I would just get my watercolor once this is dry. But right now, I'm just going to try to do a little bit of it. I'm going to do the center of the, of the skin. <laughs> I'm doing. Just getting a little bit. Not touching my salt, because I don't want my salt to smear. But there it is. And there's my watermelon. Go ahead, sweetheart. Go ahead, Maya. Um, I have a suggestion of a sea turtle. Oh, that's what I was going to draw today. I had a sea turtle for you guys. So we'll do that on Friday as well. Okay. Really cute. I had a really cute sea turtle. So look, here's my unicorn. I'm going to start painting my unicorn and i'm just going to paint a little bit of it and again with the salt you can add whatever colors you want i'm going to probably do like rainbow hair rainbow hair i'm going to add some purple some blue keep it really fun looking some blue turquoise i can do the the unicorn horn a different color i'm going to add some green here for the hair since it's a unicorn you see and you can just add any what color if you did like maybe an elephant oh yeah didn't do an elephant yeah an elephant again just adding more colors i'm gonna add some more red here to the side as long as you have enough water again it just smears really easily or spreads really easily. I'm gonna add some eyes. Hey, Ashley. 
Hi. Hey, we've been, we, I think we did like seven drawings today. <laughs> what? We just knocked I them out. Mm -hmm. Amazing. I did, a cat. I did a cat. Yeah, we were knocking them out. So we draw, we drew some, some of our friends didn't do salt, which is fine because some of us have drawn salt paintings a lot. <laughs> So I gave them the option to just paint uh, regularly. So yeah. I'm going to show you. So right now I'm just painting the last unicorn. Let me show you what we did. Some friends requested a watermelon. So we did a Cute. watermelon. We did a kitty. Wait, hold on, hold on. There, uh, I, I'm seeing Charlotte and Kaylee. Oh yeah, hey Charlotte and Kaylee. Oh, hold on. Let me. Uh, Are they spotlit? Me, I don't even know where my hands went. Oh, there it is. Okay. okay, so here, so right now I'm doing the the unicorn. We did a watermelon. Cute. We did a butterfly. Love it. We did so many. <laughs> I think they're underneath other. Some of them I haven't gotten a chance to put salt, but I'll do that on the spare time. What then, a fun we class. We did a pirate. A pirate? We did a a puppy. Oh. Good an art uh thing we did hello kitty awesome so we've been in it we've been in it i think we're almost we're almost done i think our friends are almost there and we're just gonna continue that's it let's see anybody else want to share before we is it time already yeah it's time yeah yeah okay anybody want to share before we go yes maya honey I don't, I'm still painting mine right now. Um, I'm painting my watermelon, but here's my butterfly. Ooh, that's looking great, honey. Great job. Thanks. Good job, Maya. And right now I'm painting my watermelon and this is all I've done. That's okay. That looks good. Okay. Kalia, go ahead, honey. Can you my unicorn? Can you what? Can I show you my unicorn? Of course. Yes, please do. Hold on one second. Oh, hold on. Let me smell it. Wow. Oh, that looks great. Kalia, I love it. So cool. Thank you. <laughs> Glad you liked this, Kalia. Say bye. Did you have bye. a good time? I have to go. Okay, sounds good. Bye. Have a good time. Bye. See you Friday. See you Friday. Bye. bye. Anybody else want to share? before we log off. Anybody else? I think they're all in it, Ashley. <laughs> they're all in it. Jaylene, do you want to share, honey? Do you want to share what you've done so far? No? Yes, maybe so? Okay. All right, guys. Well, this is pretty much I it. I drew a fish. No, I drew a fish. Let me see. I drew a I don't have it. Yeah, I gave it to my mom. Oh, okay. Oh, that looks good. I like the, the watermelon looks great. Awesome, guys. All right. I am almost done with this unicorn. That looks good. Looks good, Charlotte and Kaylee. Jaylene looks great. Awesome. Ooh, Cleo and Margo, that Hello Kitty. Maya, your, your watermelon looks amazing. All right, guys. Well, this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this class. I like the class. It's really fun. Awesome. Thank you. I've, I've enjoyed doing these classes. I love art. And uh, continue, continue painting, continue drawing and creating. Remember, you can, you can create whatever you want with the salt paint technique. And remember, you just want to keep it simple. So then that way you don't have so much salt everywhere. Uh, but you can literally create anything that you want. Okay. So keep creating, guys. And I'll see you guys on Friday. I've written down your request. If there's anything else that you guys want to request, just let me know. And, uh, and we'll do this on Friday. Okay. So we'll do regular paint, uh, watercolor painting on Friday. All right. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye, guys. Have a. Have an amazing day, everybody. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Bye. Bye, guys. Hasta la vista. Bye. Bye, guys. Have a Bye. great day. Bye, Jaylee. I'll be back. Bye. You know how, like, there's uh, the, um, Bye, Margo. Bye, there's guys. the, um, <laughs> there's a Terminator. 
I'll yeah. be back. I'll be back. Bye, guys. Have a great one, everybody. Bye.